I think for us in Nigeria, women, there about 50% of our population is women. And what we found in the recent research that we've just done is that uh, a lower proportion of women actually have access to the internet than men. And clearly, if we're saying the internet and broadband is a means for national socioeconomic development, then we need to get more women on the internet. Uh, clearly, ensuring that they have access, they can afford it, and that the content on the internet is useful for their, for their lives, for improving their lives. Girls really don't see IC, a career in ICTs as an option for them and there are very few girls in ICT as a result of that because ICT is for geeks, coding is for boys and so we see that again when you look at the ability of ICTs to, it, it's the fastest growing sector in the Nigerian economy, tremendous opportunities have been created for jobs creation, for wealth creation and so we need to ensure that girls are also participating in this very fast growing and very important sector so getting girls into ICT careers in ICTs, careers in science and engineering is a critical part of our development. It's a combination of two things. I think actually interesting you should start with the girls themselves because what we found, we, we did a girls, we ran a girls in ICT day in April of this year. We got about 35 girls together. We took them to um, network installations. We took them to data centers. We brought them to our, uh, our government satellite company and they were so excited. And just that, that uh, um, interface with uh, careers in ICT, and they met you know, female engineers. They met me as Minister of Communication Technology. That was the greatest aspiration or inspiration for them. So once we've done that, I think we also need to work on the teachers. And we did have the teachers working with us, getting the teachers to encourage them, ensuring that they keep doing the physics, the chemistry, the maths as they, as they go into secondary school. So it's both the girls and also having the teachers work with them to mentor them and advise them. And also having very important role models. You know, we introduced them to the few women that are, have, that have, uh, um, that are running ICT companies. And for them, it was inspirational, it was exciting, and it was, well, if she can do it, I can do it too. The beauty of a career in ICTs is that it can either be at the very high end, high engineering, high IT skills, or it can be at the lower end. And that's really the beauty of it, that you don't have to be uh, an engineer or a computer scientist to have a career in ICT. There are lots of things that can be done uh, in what they call IT enabled services and that can be attractive to girls as well as the you know higher skilled engineering. So it's really important that we just get them to see the options that are available. Yes. We get them to understand the fact that there are tremendous opportunities and as I said earlier this is an area where there's no heavy lifting required. It is, a, it is a, an industry where actually lends itself very well to women working. Flexible hours is possible in the world of ICT. Uh, it's more about skills than about um, you know brawn or whatever it is. It's about working in, in fairly comfortable environments that women can work in. So it, all of these things just make careers in ICT for girls really, it's, it's, it's compelling that we must do it. There's so much evidence that shows that it's a good thing to do and it, it should be easy to attract them once they see the opportunities and they have role models.